Greetings, thank you for joining me today. This is Eddie Set Go, and in this video, we're going to take a look at Triumph's exciting addition to the 2021 motorcycle range, the all new Trident. So Triumph have pulled the covers off the brand new Trident, the Trident name, a very familiar name in Triumph history, but this new bike is anything but familiar. This is an all new motorcycle, a brand new bike for 2021, uh, an all round modern roadster sporting a brand new 660cc triple engine. As you can see in the video package and as we saw in the mock-ups all those weeks ago, uh, this new Trident is going to be very minimal in design, clean lines, it's going to have class leading technology according to Triumph, class leading safety tech, it's going to be a very thrilling ride and be extremely agile as well. This new Trident is only going to weigh 189 kilos, fully fueled, fully wet, all ready to go. Um, so this is quite an exciting bike that uh, Triumph claim will provide a class leading ride riding experience and all of that at a very affordable competitive price. So before we get into the details, first impressions, what are your first impressions of the new Trident? For me, as soon as it rolled into the studio, I immediately loved the look of this bike. It looks very unique but at the same time has some familiar posturing and styling cues um, from this Triumph Speed Twin, for example. Um, I love the round headlight and the slightly muscular fuel tank. The TFT Dash looks brilliant. This looks like a very fun bike to ride, but at the same time is a very serious bike for Triumph in the marketplace. Because only a few days ago, Yamaha released the all new MT-09, a cutting edge bike that's going to take the fight to the street triples of this world. Well, I feel that this new Trident is Triumph returning the fire. This is them taking the fight to the MT-07s of this world. Let's dig in to the new Trident and start with that new 660cc triple engine. It includes 67 new components to give a unique torque and power riding experience. The new engine will give you a perfect balance of low down torque, mid range and top end power. Um, this triple is going to be very user friendly to ride, able to trundle around the city, go out for a blast on the country roads and as we've seen in the video packages, go out on the racetrack as well and have some fun with it. Triumph claim this new triple engine will give you all the low down grunt and torque of a twin and give you all the top end power and performance of a four cylinder. And that's very much the story with this new 660cc triple engine. It's all about a balanced character, as Triumph claim, having enough low-end torque, having enough top-end power to accommodate all the riding demands that you can throw at it. This is going to be a very user-friendly engine. Peak power will be 81 brake horsepower at 10,200 RPM, and Triumph claiming that 90% of the maximum torque will be available across most of the rev range at 64 newton meters of torque. On top of that, the new engine will be A2 compliant, so for all of you looking to start your next chapter in biking, maybe looking for your next big bike, perhaps the Trident should be on your list. As with most Triumphs, you're going to get that traditional, uh, typical Triumph sound, that triple with a bit of a whistle going on. Uh, Triumph claim this new engine will have a deep and crisp engine sound and also claim for it to be the new best sounding bike in the category. While we're near the engine, the Trident will have a six-speed gearbox with nice rounded uh, gear ratios able to accommodate most riding demands that you can throw at it. Uh, on top of that, there'll also be a slip and assist clutch uh, to make the clutch lever action nice and smooth and very light as well, which will come in handy when you're doing lots of urban riding, stop and start riding. On top of that, now this really got my attention during the video package, um, Triumph has an optional up and down quick shifter which you can fit as an accessory so you're going to be able to have clutchless up and down shifting through the gears. Now this is something usually reserved for you know larger capacity bikes. Um, when you think about uh, the Trident's competitors, perhaps the Honda CB650R, maybe the, obviously the Yamaha MT-07 as well, I'm not quite sure they have up and down quick shifters do they? I think the CB has an upper but, um, but yeah this is an up and down quick shifter will be available to fit to your new Trident. Holding everything together is an all new tubular steel chassis which Triumph claim will set a benchmark for handling, giving you an agile, fun ride, offering light steering weight, a low seat height and a slim width. 
As mentioned before in the video, uh, this trident's going to weigh just 189 kilos. Um, I mean, you can tell just by looking at the photos, it's a very compact, very slim looking bike. And in the video package here, as you can see the rider just flicking this bike around and having a lot of fun with it. But the buzzword for the Trident is confidence inspiring. This bike is designed to you know, encourage you to get your leg over and, and ride off into the distance without hesitating, without being concerned that the bike is gonna you know, flick you off or betray you in some manner. Uh, the seat height is set to a very you know, very low 805 millimeters where you compare that to a, a Street Triple, for example, which I believe has a seat height of about 830 millimeters. So you know, you're gonna be able to put both feet on the floor. Majority of us are gonna be able to put both feet flat on the floor. The Trident has a seat which has been designed for both rider and pillion needs in mind with deep foam construction. And, you know this is great because you're going to get a comfortable seat for both. Um, compare that to a Street Triple for example which has the, the pillion perch at the back. Um, it looks like the Trident you're both going to be able to enjoy the ride without getting cramp after 20 minutes. In terms of suspension, the Trident gets a Showa suspension set up with uh, upside down separate function forks at the front uh, with 120mm of travel and at the rear you've got a Showa preload adjustable monoshock. The braking system on the Trident is taken care of by Nissan uh, with dual two piston calipers at the front, 310mm uh, discs and a single piston Nissan rear caliper. So we've talked about the engine, uh, the chassis, the suspension, the brakes. Let's move on to the display, that new TFT display, um, which looks great, doesn't it? Um, immediately reminded me of the Yamaha XSR 900 display, that nice spherical display, but perhaps this one looks better, maybe? What do you think? Um, it's a combination of TFT screen with a white on black LCD display. So you're going to get full color TFT and then other information provided by the LCD display. On top of that, you're going to be able to connect the My Triumph connectivity system module, uh, which you can get on the you know the um, accessories catalog. Which means that you can have turn-by-turn -turn navigation, satellite navigation. Uh, you can control your GoPro through it, um, your phone and music controls on the screen. You can do that all connected via Bluetooth and using the switch gear on the uh, the handlebars. This is the kind of tech that's reserved for these big adventure bikes you get in the Triumph range. To, so to have this kind of technology on this middleweight affordable roadster is, is just great. Let's move on to the electronics of the Trident. Uh, the Trident's going to come with a three-tier electronics package, including riding modes, adjustable traction control and ride-by-wire. Road and rain riding modes come as standard, so you're going to be able to adjust the throttle mapping of the bike, the traction control settings, depending on what's going on outside before you leave the garage. So that's great, you know, road and rain riding modes, they will come as standard. The ride-by-wire system gives a really precise and crisp throttle response um, and also the traction control, you can disengage that on either riding mode. You can actually switch it on or off, play about with the settings, get what's right for you uh, and also ABS comes as standard on the Trident. Let's talk about the lighting. The Trident comes with all LED lighting. Um, a brand new 7-inch full LED uh, headlight at the front, um, LED tail light, um, LED indicators, the turn signal indicators, their LED as well, and the LED indicators are self-cancelling. So this is, again, I keep mentioning you know, the, the kind of technology you get on more premium machines like BMWs. Um, yeah, you're going to get self-cancelling indicators on this affordable Roadster. As you can imagine, there's a huge catalogue of accessories and you can really tailor uh, this Trident to make it your own. Bar end mirrors, the quick shifter, uh, you can even get a little screen to go in above the front headlight there. Um, the Trident also comes in four colours, you have four colours to choose from, um, including silver ice, matte jet black, crystal white and sapphire black. What will be familiar about this bike is the quality of finish and Triumph are very keen to let you know that this Trident will have an exceptional fit and finish with you know, great attention to detail, little logos in the headlight and the rear tail light. This is going to be a very well finished machine. To complement that standard of finish, Triumph claimed the Trident will have the lowest service workshop time in the category um, with 10,000 miles, 16,000 K service intervals. 
One thing is for certain for me especially is that even though this Trident weighs in at you know 189 kilos, you know has a power output of what, 81 brake horsepower, you know those are the kind of figures that you know might make a few people turn their noses up at the bike, think oh it's a bit of a lightweight bike, but you know given this list of you know technology that they've packed into it and all the features and all the accessories, um, for me you know some might say this is a lightweight bike, for me I say this bike carries a very powerful punch. I mean, sure, it doesn't have the, the headline-grabbing figures of the Street Triple, you know, 120 brake horsepower, but does this Trident really need that kind of power? Um, for me, my previous bike, my Yamaha Tracer 700, you know, that put out 73 horses, and I loved, you know, trying to use all of those horses in my day-to-day -day riding and having as much fun with them as possible, and it was a great experience. So, you know, this Trident 81 horsepower, I wouldn't, you know, turn your nose up at that. It looks like a very lightweight, agile, fun bike. And finally, we come down to the price, and you can have a Triumph Trident for £7,100. £7,100, uh, same price as a Honda CB650R, uh, £700 cheaper than the Street Triple S. Um, so this is a, a very affordable, <laughs> very affordable motorcycle. It will be available as of January 2021, so we are literally weeks away from this bike showing up in the showrooms ready for test rides. Uh, Triumph have even said that you can put a deposit down now if you want to buy one. You can put a deposit down today and get your order in for your new Trident. So there you have the 2021 Triumph Trident, a brand new middleweight roadster from Triumph equipped with all the latest tech and a quality of finish that's going to make the likes of Honda and Yamaha be a little bit worried. And now the question is, what do you think about this new Trident? Is this a bike that's going to be on your radar for next year? You know, were you thinking about buying a bike and maybe this one has just swooped in and given you food for thought? You know, please put a comment below, let me know. And if you are someone who has actually put an early deposit down on one of these Tridents, then please put a put a comment below, put your hand up and let us know, you know, what made you jump in and, you know, go for the buy early on this one. Uh, please let us know. Um, yeah, very exciting times, people. We're spoilt for choice in the biking world. The new Triumph Trident, which comes out in dealerships uh, as of January 2021. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give a thumbs up to support the channel. And if you are new here, then please make sure to subscribe to see future motorcycle content. I've been Eddie Set Go. I hope you ride safe. Stay safe. I'll see you next time.